the president Bola Tinumbu and the vice president Kashim Shetima has discredited the case made by the Labour Party and its presidential candidate Peter Obi against the outcome of the February 25th presidential elections, describing their arguments and witnesses' testimonies as worthless. The duo made the government through their legal team led by Wale Olanipekun, SAN. In their final written address against the petition of OB before the pre presidential election petition court, dismissing the petition of as frivolous, the respondents poked, poked holes in the testimonies of the various witnesses and asked the court to dismiss their testimonies as they were bogus and based on ESC. Recall that on March 1st, INEX chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu announced Tinumbu as the winner of the February 25 elections with 8.7 million, while Asiku 6.9 million and Obi 6.1 million votes respectively. On March 20, Obi and Labour Party filed a petition before the court seeking the nullification of the elections on grounds of non-qualification of the president's non-compliance with the Electoral Act, among others. The petitioners, through their team of lawyers, led by Levi Uzoku SAN alleged that Sinumbu should be disqualified from the election over United District judgment and forfeiture of $460,000 suspected to be proceeds of drug trafficking. Mm. Okay. So it's really, 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 really a long one. But in a nutshell, that they are so frivolous and <laughs> they are not just uh, something that uh, you know they can really that it's what they're uh, talking about and that's why Tinubu and the uh, device saying that a uh, uh, petitioner's evidence worthless witnesses testimonies are more about in nature wow <laughs> their witnesses testimonies witnesses testimonies are more about in nature so they should just throw them away they don't they don't have a they don't they don't have a they are not they are not worthless at least that's just what they have said well I think uh, they are right in their own thinking. So, like uh, people have been saying, it's not depends on the judiciary. All eyes on judiciary. Uh, you don't expect them to say, "Yeah, it is true. It is true." Yes. Ah, okay. Now who wants to be removed from the, from the, from the office? Because now they have started. They've started their threats. So <laughs> they started their threats. You can imagine if a, uh, Obi has said, Obi lawyers have, have said uh, this statement that oh. There's going to be this if you disqualify me just because of 25% in, in Abuja. Oh, there's going to be this, there's going to be that. What does that tell you? <laughs> that it means we are in for a, a, a very big thing. And again, you see that until maybe uh, Tinubu gets uh, what he wants because as it is now, all the things he has done in terms of policy, in terms of uh, bills, in terms of appointments, this and this and that. Just to woo Nigerians, it's not even working. I did be they are even working. Of course, a lot of people. That is only if there's going to be a rerun. But I don't think all of those things we have in the recent, in a sane environment, it has nothing to do with a, the tribunal or the judiciary. Hmm. So, to them, and that's why you heard um, Festus Kiyamu saying that uh, the reason why they didn't produce or present, the reason why they didn't present a uh, what is it called? witnesses because it's of no need it does not make sense but somebody went there and some people ran away and they could not show up so that's why there's no points and that is exactly what these uh, lawyers are saying just say uh, to corroborate with a uh, what is it called with a uh, kiyamu's statements it is only in nigeria everybody will be interpreting the constitution in the in different uh, way that suits him or her Oh, ha, constitution is clear. This submission in itself is defective and a poor representation of the prayer and evidence provided by the petitioners. That is Olani Pekun's submission. Let's wait for the response of the petitioners. And finally, the judges' verdict. It could go either way. So let's no group over jubilate my humble submission. And that's it. But all along, it was the obedient feeding themselves with a false narrative that have been celebrating prematurely. Everybody has been celebrating prematurely now. Mm -hmm. Everybody, you don't expect it. It's just like a, 
uh, what do they call the politicians? They are always optimistic. They are never, never negative in their thinking. Even within, maybe at the back end, they might not even be getting it right. But they will come out and say, forget it. Nothing will happen. Just the same way they are saying that, say, all those, say, uh, all this evidence and what have you, they brought, all these allegations, they are worthless. They are, are, are more about in nature. Okay, well. Before Uncle, it is dead on arrival. Olani Pekun has always thrived on technicalities, but it has eluded him. But it will elude him this time around. This uh, the evidence against Tinubu is simply mind blowing. The petitioners tied him all round like the historical Asian notes. He still had the audacity to pre to present Tinubu's fake certificates and NYC exemption letter in one uh, instance and AYC discharge has kids in another uh, instance. Oh, I forgot that the army broke into his house during a bachelor era and destroyed his papers. The lies goes on and on and on. The same way uh, the primary and secondary school certificates, it was presented all of a sudden. He said he didn't have it again. And again, he said, oh, somebody helped him to fill that uh, form while he was contesting for governorship in 1999 or so so a lot of discrepancies here and there so like people are saying all lies on judici judiciary let them do the needful all lies on judiciary well some people have said that this is the opinion of uh, the lawyer so it is understandable so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this <laughs>